so we're gonna try this shit again. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably about my third or fourth time recording this. But anyway, got some new sounds and shit from uh Studio Link VST with some new refills and shit, because I got a couple uh VSTs from them running the Fruity Loops and shit. And if you looking for like some dope ass sounds just to take your production to the next level, I suggest you Googling or YouTube and Studio Link VST. They got some refills, VSTs, uh, AU plugins, and a couple other formats and shit. And they sounds is top notch. I'm about to uh, go through a beat that I made with nothing but their sounds. Just one refill from them and just all the sounds in there. So we about to get into the beat. Uh, shit. Alright. <clears throat> the refill that I use from Studio Link VST is their Maybach Kings refill. If I'm not mistaken, I think they got a Maybach Kings VST, but I'm not for sure. You'll have to check their website. But anyway, let's get into the beat. All right. I started the main pattern with their uh, Dream Chasers Bell. Right here, if you can see that. Dream Chasers Bell, too, with a second bell. And here is how the, uh, basically the main melody went. Alright, now after I laid that down, I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's a nice ass start. I mean, it could either go two ways and shit. <laughs> but anyway, I'm like, you know, kind of like that, you know, that trap feel to and shit. So I wanted to basically enhance that shit. So I grabbed a uh, studio piano. If you can see. Uh, there we go. A studio piano. Grab that and layer that with the bell. And that shit just. Basically it's like a whole nother level. That shit just set it off real nice. I'm like, alright, from there, you know, I gotta throw like a like a lead symphony in there or something just to to spice it up, you know, just to add to the flavor and shit. So I grabbed a uh, thousand Oregon. Again, from the Maybach Kings refill, grab that, play the little part and shit. And that shit just basically the same thing, added to it, took it to another level. I could have left the beat like that, threw some drums in there and call it the day, but so I want to experiment more with the sounds and shit and added more to it. So I grabbed this uh lead whistle, if you can see. And this whistle, or this lead whistle, is the only sound that is not from Studio uh, Link VST. It's not in the Maybach Kings. This is from another refill I got called Drake Style. But I took that lead and layered it with the uh the organ and that shit just popped real good To the drums, we got into calm and shit. Threw the drums in there, and you know, you throw them drums and shit with that shit, dude. I'm just playing for y'all. <laughs> Now, 
most niggas <laughs> probably would have just left it at that, man. Most cats would have left the beat at that, but you know, I ain't most people and shit. So I came in with a uh, another uh Maybach King sound. I'm a solo at this time for y'all. Let y'all hear it. And this sound is called Enemy One. But the funny thing about the sound is the stock plug-in, the stock sound don't even sound like that. This is how the stock sound sound. This is all from the stock sound. Now listen, this is what I did to it. Compared to this, no. But anyway, that's another topic to get into. Then from there, man, I just threw on this banging ass bass. I'm solo with y'all. Turn it up for y'all too to hear. Like this bass, fucking knock star <laughs> for real. Kings refill dog. Hey, back sub face. Like this refill, like this is just a refill they got. They VSTs and all the other plugins and synthesizers they got come with a lot of dog ass sounds and shit. Like again, I said, you know, they use their VSTs and digital performer and in fruity loops. Alright, so we about to get into the uh, play the bass and shit for y'all. So we about to get into the whole beat. Play it up for me for y'all. Let y'all hear it in its completeness. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. 